everyone, I'm Chris and welcome to ELT Cuisine, where you will learn how to cook some awesome Colombian dishes in a very easy way. Because remember, we are noobies just like you. Today we are making some buñuelos, which are one of the most traditional Christmas dishes here in Colombia. However, they can be eaten at any time of the year, usually at breakfast and served with hot chocolate or with a latte. They are typical of the Indian region, which is the central region here in Colombia, and where the majority of the country's urban centers are, as it is the case of Medellin, Cali, Bogota, and of course, Bucaramanga. Before we start, let's wash our hands. It is important because we are going to cook with our bare hands. Now, let's see the ingredients. One quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder. A pinch of salt. Three quarters of a cup of cornstarch. Two tablespoons of sugar. One egg. One tablespoon of milk. One quarter of a cup of yucca flour. A half of a cup of finely grated fresh cheese. A cup of finely grated feta cheese. Sunflower oil, canola oil or palm oil. Now that we have all our ingredients ready, let's prepare the dough. First, let's sieve all the dry ingredients but the cheeses. We are doing this with the 3 quarters of a cup of cornstarch. We are going to do the exact same thing with a quarter of a cup of yucca flour. We add the baking powder too. Now we continue with the cheeses, and of course, they do not need to be sieved. First, we add feta cheese and then fresh cheese, but the order doesn't really matter. Now we add the two tablespoons of sugar and of course, the pinch of salt. Now we are going to mix everything up very well with our bare hands. Do it so until all the ingredients have blended very well. After we mixed everything up very well, we are going to place our dough in this way, so we can add the egg in an involving way, as you are watching right now in the video, by making circles. After the egg was well mixed, we can knead the dough as normal. Then we add the milk. However, if you see your dough is a bit dry, you can add more milk. What you need to get is a homogeneous dough, as the one in the video. It is necessary to have a good dough, otherwise there may be some accidents when frying the buñuelos. They can explode or some minor problems as a change in their taste or shape. Congratulations, now we have a beautiful buñuelo dough which is ready to shape, so let's do it. They are traditionally rounded, so let's shape them like that. The size is the one that changes. We decided to make a small ones, but also a big one, so you can see it's the same. As you can see, it's not complicated at all. You don't need a lot of force, but just to make the round shapes. In order to fry our buñuelos, we are going to use a pot full of oil. We heat the oil to medium heat for 3 minutes and once the time is up, we drop a tiny buñuelo ball into the oil and count until 10. If it comes to the surface within 10 seconds, the oil is ready. If it stays to the bottom, we wait a little. Be very careful when dropping the buñuelos or you may get burnt. Make sure they don't get too close to each other. 
they will move by themselves in the oil. You just need to make sure they don't get burnt. Just focus on getting a beautiful golden color and that's it. As you can see, they are ready to get out of the pot. So we grab a couple of pliers and grab the buñuelos and put them over some napkins. Thank you very much for watching our video. We hope you have learned a lot. Don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want to use this video as your English learning material, don't forget to check the description box. Bye bye!